Hey, Mower Nuts, Mower Mike here at Texas HQ. We've got a treat for you today. Today I've got my zero turn in the shop. This is my Cub Cadet 60 inch uh, professional grade zero turn, and we're gonna do a little service on her. Uh, we're gonna change the, the oil and the hydraulic transmissions in the back end of these things. Now these zero turns essentially run off two hydro, hydrostatic transmissions that run each, uh, each handle there. And on these higher end ones, which have a uh, gear oil reservoir, which I'll show you, you can actually service these hydraulic transmissions. And I like to do it once a year just to keep them fresh. Now on your smaller ones, like your 50 inch and below, a lot of those hydro static transmissions are sealed and you can't service them. Uh, but on this one, I can. And make sure to follow the steps. It's a very specific procedure, especially when you get into bleeding out the transmissions or else she's not gonna run right. So with that, we're gonna go get started. Okay, so now we're underneath the, uh, the tractor. I've got the wheel off just so you can see better. Now, the first thing you want to do, you want to find where the uh, filter is. Now, the filter is only available on these that are actually uh, serviceable, the, the bigger hydro gears. So the first thing you want to do, these filters have a just a guard on them. So you want to pop that off. It's two 10 millimeter bolts. And then you get to the filter. You know, I like to get my, my big Irish pliers on them. And you just take them off, just like it's a oil filter. And that's how it drains. Now, especially this one, it doesn't have an actual drain plug for whatever reason. Uh, but they just unscrew like so. Look at that. Whoa! Wow, uh, that's a lot of fluid. And I like to use uh, this pan I stole from the wife. It's actually pretty dang good in the shop. So we'll go ahead and, and let that filter out. All right, so once it's all drained out, you want to put a new one on there. Now I've got a 52114 Hydro Gear filter. Uh, you just screw it on just like it's a freaking car filter. Nothing fancy. And once you tighten it, you know, you might put a little wrench on it, but you don't need a whole lot. I like to put about half an extra turn on it so you got that on there and then you'll just go ahead and bolt your uh little protector back up all right gang so we got our transmission all synced up we've got our new filters installed but before you can just start plugging oil into the actual reservoir you've got to remove the vent cap on the inside of these transmissions if they don't it just gets vapor locked and you'll never get any uh, oil in there so what i've got here you can see up top there it's essentially, this one's got an Allen wrench. Some of them are uh, actual bolts, but this one here is a quarter inch uh, Allen head. And you just take that out just so it can breathe as you fill it up. And you'll do this on both sides. And essentially as it fills, uh, you'll notice it'll take it and then you'll start seeing it drip. And as soon as it drips, you wanna install that uh, cap back underneath there. All right, gang, so now we move on to the exciting part. Let's fill up the uh, transmission full of fluid. Now, what type of fluid to use. Now I used to always go with just straight 30 weight was the original one, but I went and talked to my Ferris dealer, very good mechanics there at that motor shop. They said uh, Hydro Gear has moved on to 20W50. So what I'm using here is a Kawasaki 20W50, really good oil. Uh, it's a synthetic blend. This is what they suggest for the Hydro Gear transmissions. They service these things all day long. Uh, so what I'm going to use, you know, what's in it now is 30 weight. So I'm kind of curious if it It'll run a little thicker, so hopefully it does a little better. And so I just want to stress that filling these up, this is not your usual 10W30 car oil. It's very thick and it's going to take a while. So as you fill it up, you know, you want to watch underneath the transmission to where that oil starts to dribble out of that, that vent hole. And as soon as it does, cut that vent hole and then go to the other one and loosen up the other vent hole on the opposite transmission. Do the same thing until it fills up and eventually it'll fill up that reservoir uh, this one took four and a half quarts of this Kawasaki uh, engine oil. There's a great deal on Amazon for five, uh, five quarts of this for I think like 40 bucks. Really good stuff. I'll have a link below to that. So now that we've got her filled up, don't get started yet. We've got to actually bleed this transmission. So you have to make sure all the air gets out of the transmission. And in order to do that, what we need to do is go ahead and jack up the rear end of it like so, this one's real easy just because it's got that. You want both wheels off, off the floor on the backside. 
and then we're going to go ahead and run it for a little bit and go back and forth and I'll show you how that works. Just make sure you're in a well ventilated area. I'm going to go ahead and open the uh, lower mic shop door and uh, we'll show you how this works. All right, so now for the fun parts, now for the bleeding. So we've got the rear end jacked up, you got to have the wheels off it. We've got the door open, we got my AC blowing straight out the door. Go ahead and start the motor and just make sure before you start this that your reservoir is filled because we're going to bleed it and slowly suck it down. So go ahead and Yeah, I like doing this once a year, just keep the transmissions around smooth and running good. So with that, uh, more mics out. You guys have a good one.